What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Excuse the chair. You might be asking yourself, where have we been? Well, we went and visited family for about a month. Very limited tools. Uh, but furthermore, we had no way to download any footage because we didn't take anything. So we're back. It's a new year. We're ready to go. We're going to be kicking it off with coffee bar. Um, We've been putting this off for a little bit. So first things first, got to clean up the area, then get some measurements, and then go buy some wood. The real question is where to put all this. We'll figure that out. Here we go. All right, y'all, so excuse the lighting. We're just sitting here in traffic going to Home Depot. Y'all won't see much of Milani in this video. She's dealing with some sort of sickness. Sounds like she got a little bit of a cold or a flu. But uh, this is what she looks like as co-pilot right now. Hi. <laughs> so Put it out there like that. We've, uh, we've patented that, the uh, double nostril napkin. What up? It's the next morning. <clears throat> Got too dark for us last night. My uh, camera woman not feeling it, so it's gonna be solo today. So we're gonna start un unloading and get to work. All right, y'all. So for this project, we got four sheets of three quarter inch sand plywood and I believe a one inch dowel um, to get going for the shell. So I'm just sitting here since my measurement partner is not with me today. I gotta actually be on my game. So I'm just trying to see where I wanna start. It's gonna be easiest to get the woodwork and juices flowing. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking our back boxes are simple. I mean, those are 33, and a half by 22 so that should be like a good place to start let's get going All right, y'all, just a uh, good alternative here to a track saw. Uh, get you out a nice straight piece of scrap wood, clamp it down. I was using our speed square there to make sure everything was straight, uh, but gives you a nice consistent straight line. Alright, it's just getting ready to make this cut. 
And then Milani's like, by the way, we have breakfast here. And uh, she's surprised with uh, ordering some food, so. <laughs> Cut, can wait. We're gonna go eat some, uh, some good food, so we'll pick back up in a minute. Brunch, I guess, more appropriately, was a success. Now, we're gonna try and find the angle that we're gonna cut. I would love to tell y'all that this was a scientific or mathematic uh, decision. We tried to use a protractor, didn't quite work for us, so we just went with drawing it, putting it in place, and seeing if we liked it. Anyways, I think we need to take about another inch or so off. So we're gonna re-shave or slim down and then uh, go do the butt test again. track saw, trim that down, and then we can get to building our third shelf, and then get on to sanding and staining. So, slight setback, at least it's it's larger than it needs to be instead of smaller. Um, my project manager missed it too, so. Uh, quick detour, and then we're back on track. All right, so we had a bit of a break there to do some some thinking. Um, <clears throat> made our cut, we got our board to size. Then for the Craig jig, um, I had to kind of do a dry assembly to make sure I was gonna be screwing uh, the correct pieces together. And we are, so what I've done is created myself a little cheat sheet, drew the word, or writ the word screw on there with an arrow on the place where the screws are going to be going <clears throat> uh, to hopefully try and make this as foolproof as possible. Now Craig Jig recommends that you start two inches off the end of your piece and then every six to eight inches on center. Um, so we went two inches in and went every six inches on center. Um, so yeah, this piece is going to be very secure and should not go anywhere. So all right, so for the Craig Jig settings, um, again, went back to the handy dandy owner's manual. Um, so you want to set thickness, which is three quarters of an inch, which you also then want to set your drill, the shoulder is what they call it, at the same thickness. So those are the two settings that we're using.
my setup on the Craig jig, I would mark my lines with the speed square so that way whenever I was going to actually do the drilling, I could uh, easily find where I needed to uh, and make sure that I was doing everything, um, you know, how we drew it up. Almost forgot, gotta cut the middle shelf, so let's get on the hat. Now we're on to something you guys have seen me do a million times. We're gonna pull out the orbital sander, sand these guys down. I'm gonna do 60, 120, 220. Um, and then we're gonna stain it. Um, I think we got some cool colors for this. We wanted this to feel different from the kitchen. Um, we, went, we didn't want it to feel like it was an afterthought to the kitchen. It was always intended to be something different. Um, anywho, sand. I'll, I'll film a little bit of it and then you guys know the rest. Different sandpaper each time, knock it out. Then we're, then we're on to the stain. We are all done. We have sanded all the layers. Um, I think I told you all this before, but you saw me marking up the uh, board with my pencil, you know, just random lines. That way it's, uh, I saw it on this um, other YouTube video. I can't remember where, but let you know you've done a good job of sanding that board once the pencil marks are gone. So then you know you're good to move on to the next. Um, but yeah, so we've done this. We'll get a wet cloth, we'll wipe it down, and then we'll get ready to stain. Also, you can get an idea of where my sleeve was. Um, see, I'm all all clean. <laughs> Got a nice clean line. And certainly the, the dust was going to one spot. All right, so we've got the wood filler on there while we're letting that dry for a little bit. <clears throat> we do have a dowel for our cornered ends uh, just to act as a little bit additional support there. We'll cut the dowels and we'll uh, Try and get that ready, and uh, yeah, we should be standing before too long. Now, this was our first time using this kind of stain, and I don't know if it was the weather, the way that I applied, or the stain itself, but uh, as streaky as you see it going on here is as streaky as it dried. Um, so, not loving that, but most of this is, you know, you're not really looking at it. So, it is what it is, but just for you to know, that stain does dry pretty streaky. getting ready to assemble here had to move the operation inside 
as I was coming to get my uh, screws out, I found a nice little frog waiting for us in here. Um, let's see, there we go. So thank you to the GC and GF for hiding one of these in here. They've hid 50 around the house while they were house sitting, and we have no idea how many more we have to go. Alright y'all, it took all day, only one real mess up, um, which for your boy that's pretty solid, but uh, fun little project, um, like I said we wanted it to be different from the kitchen, which clearly we've achieved that, uh, there's more to come with this table, and this is going to look a lot better next to it coming up, um, all in all it's about a $200 project. Could be a little bit cheaper depending on the type of wood that you get um <clears throat> yeah we got our coffee right here so we got espresso coffee flavorings filters then on the bottom we got all of our teas and obviously up top we got the actual machinery so uh appreciate you guys watching we will be back to a more normal uh posting schedule so appreciate y'all hanging around and we'll see you next time <laughs>